Hi everybody, it's Cindy A. Lewis and the long-awaited part three of the Christmas Planner series. This is the last in the Christmas Planner. We've put the planner together. You can always embellish it more. You can always add tassels and charms and everything. You can just do so much more. And I want to let you know that we've had fun together creating this, but you can make it any way you want and change it up to any theme you want from year to year or you can just use the same one and just replace your filler pages so let's get started with a look inside and before we take a look i just want to remind you to subscribe to my channel i appreciate everyone that's a part of my community okay so we created the binder cover we put our corners on put the medallion on on the outside we covered it with fabric and uh, scrapbook paper um, this one is aged except for the planner pages, which I have not aged, but I will show you that how they look. And then we create, I created a pocket on the inside. The planner page, this is um, the Christmas planner for 2019. And I just put that inside a sheet protector. Here is the table of contents, which is what we created all our tabs to be. Uh, divider number one of the calendars we have a belly band here if we want to add something um, in here to hold it or some kind of placeholder then we have November's calendar is here as well as December so that you can look at the calendar if you need to then uh, the to do tab we have a pocket on this side with a journaling card if you want to journal and then uh, you can put anything inside a pocket if you decide to do it that way and then the to-do list you can make multiple copies of your to-do list or just put filler pages in there this tab is for the Christmas card list so decorated that a little bit put one of my hymnal pages in here for I Heard the Bells on Christmas Day, decorated that a little bit. And then here is a Christmas card list page where I can add um, 36 names on that list or add more planner pages, um, filler pages. This is my wish list uh, divider. And again, if you don't didn't see my divider, this is my a pocket from my dad's flannel shirt. And so I put some pictures of my dad in here um, because I enjoy remembering this is favorite time of the year and I miss him a lot. And then more decorations. This one is the wish list. So you can have your own wish list or you can give everyone in your family a, a wish list to fill out for you so that you know what to buy for them. Here is the next tab, which is for the online shopping. And again, I made another pocket and a little journaling card. It, you could put pictures or anything in there you wanted to, receipts, um, online shopping, so you can keep track of the store, the item you purchased, the cost, and the order number, delivery date, or when it was delivered, that's up to you. Then decorating, um, here is our divider, and then the pages for decorating and things you need to do for decorating specific. This one is the menu planner page. And in here you would keep track of your Christmas dinner plans or if you have more than one event, you could write down who's doing what and what dish they're bringing. The next one is baking. Baking's such a fun time uh, this year. Uh, the Christmas time, everyone has such fun cookie and dessert recipes and different things. So created a pocket here for some maybe recipe cards, but also you can write down some things that you want to bake and what supplies you need for that if you want to. And then also um, some recipe cards where you could just fill in a recipe maybe that you wanted to jot down or maybe even put a three by five card in there if you wanted to. This one, this tab, tab a divider is for activities. And so you can just write down all your activities that you want to do with your family or for work or whatever. And then here is a Christmas checklist of some things that you might want to try to do this season. And then a blank one to fill in for yourself. And then I have an extra 
uh, divider here that I can create and do whatever I want. I put in a journaling card so I could do some memory journaling here. I also have an extra sheet protector and another pocket. And that is it. And this is such a fun thing to do to keep for your family and to help you stay on task during this busy season. And then I have all these pages. They are for this size only plant and binder. And they are up on my website and they are free to you. If you would like to go down there uh, to my website and download the free file, it's a PDF file of all these pages. You are more than welcome to do that. That is my gift to you for this Christmas season. And my website is um, cindyalewis.com and I will post the link down on um, the comments below so that you can find it easily. So anyway, I hope you've enjoyed watching this three-part series on a Christmas planner, how to create it, how to make the dividers, and then how to fill it. And now you're on your own. You've got to do your own planning. So I hope that you enjoy that and have a great day. What a wonderful season it is. Share some love and talk to you later. Bye-bye.